Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another of my tournament vlogs. Today, we're going to the same tournament that we did last time, where it's at the same venue, all that fun stuff. It's just like a couple weeks later. I'm hoping that I do well this time. I know last time I got third, but uh, I'm hoping that I do well. I don't know who's gonna be there, to be honest, this time. I haven't looked at the attendees list um, like I did last time. So I'm just really hoping that I don't run into some really, really heavy hitters. Um, if I do, uh, I hope that I do well. Um, I'm kind of scared for kind of how it's doing. Sometimes I'll play like, you know, Smash Online and kind of warm up that way before I get going to like some of these tournaments. And I was not feeling too hot, to be honest. Um, it was it was really weird. Um, I couldn't tell if I could chalk it up to being like ultimate online being ultimate online or if it was me like not playing super well you know since i haven't had a switch in a little bit i have kind of been on, on like a little bit of like a smash hiatus i just haven't really been playing too much to be honest nevertheless we're gonna go in with a positive attitude we're gonna hope that i do pretty well here i'm hoping that i can at least get top eight is my goal anyway i'll see you guys over there All right, so I made it. Uh, today was a crazy looking day. It was sunny, but then also there are some really dark clouds in the background. It's spooky looking, but also at the same time, it's really cool looking. I'm gonna go ahead and head in there and try to get some friendlies in. So I was playing a bit of friendlies with, uh, his name is D tier. He's second on the NorCal PR, which is just insane to me. Uh, I remember fighting him way back when he kind of first started going to tournaments and stuff like that. He's leveled up so much. It's actually crazy to see how much like growth he's had. Um, so huge respect to him. It definitely, I feel like I'm in, in a good mindset about things, but looking at the venue, like once I stood up, like once we were kind of like done playing friendlies, there's a lot of heavy hitters today. Uh, a lot of people that like I'll lose to, I'm I'm quite worried and nervous about it, to be honest. Top eight, I know that I said that I'm gonna try to get there, but like it's looking rough right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna go out of winner's side way before top eight and hopefully through loser's side, we can make top eight, but I'm quite nervous about it. So we'll see. I feel like my play is a little, weird today and also i was getting some uh while playing friendlies my jump button was getting stuck i think my control is uh, a little broken um when you let me see if i can actually grab it let me see if we can actually hear the sound that i was talking about i'm holding it close to the mic so hopefully that picked it up but i think that there's something broken inside of it where 
I think that thing gets stuck right underneath my jump button. I had it happen twice while we were playing friendlies and I'm super worried about it happening while playing, which would really suck. That would be probably the worst thing that could happen. Hopefully it doesn't happen. But anyway, uh, we'll see how we do. I'm gonna go into uh, my winners round one. Hey, what's up guys? To save some time in this video, I'm gonna be just doing clips from each match. So no VOD reviewing, nothing like that. If you guys wanna see the full matches unedited, go ahead and check out the links down below in the description. That's where I will be posting the full matches if you guys wanna watch those, learn from those, all that fun stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Alright, so just got done with round one. Uh, game one, I'm not gonna lie, there was, there was a good amount of time in between like me playing the friendlies that I played and then going into bracket, there's a lot of stuff going on and then there's just like, there's doubles going on and then a lot of people were playing on different setups and I just like, kinda just, I sat and I watched one of my friends play Rivals too because uh, you know, first time kind of playing it, you know, that you know that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I got really, really tired. Uh, so game one, I kind of spent like waking up. Um, I just, I still feel really tired to be honest. I think I need to, I don't know, I need something to try to wake up. Uh, I don't know what that will be or what I can do to do that, but you know, we're gonna try that. And then game two was when I, I kind of focused a little bit more, I kind of, was coming into my own head about different things about like how um, the Game & Watch was moving and kind of what I could do to combat that, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so that's why it looked a little bit cleaner. Um, and then towards the end when I, I think I was up like three stocks to one, uh, I, I kind of was messing around a little bit, you know, trying to get some some fancy stuff, you know, of course, for you guys, for the content, for the, for the style of it. Um, usually when I'm up, uh, you know, three stocks to one or something like that and I'm feeling pretty good about it, I'll uh, start to kind of mess around a little bit where, you know, I, I probably shouldn't, but you know, it's fun, it's fun. And you know, we still got the 2-0 anyway, so you know, it was fine. Um, I'm just, I'm sad. I had two really cool kills that I could have got that I missed. I'm really sad about it. Um, could have been really cool, but I'm gonna continue to try to uh, get in there and wake up and hopefully play a little bit better. Um, Cause I feel like game one, I was not playing to my full potential. Um, yeah, anyway, do you guys want to see my, my brand new car? Yo, look at that. That's my brand new car. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But anyway, we're gonna go in and we're gonna play round two. Later.
just played my round two. I forgot to record game one which uh kind of sucks <laughs> game one he went roy so i had i had a really good lead on him in the beginning and then he was making like a a, a comeback right so like i think I, I was up like three stocks to one you know something like that was able to like cheese some kills and, and similar to like kind of how game two was a little bit and then he started coming back like he, he was just like playing pretty well after that so then it was like one one stock to one, and then I was just able to finish it out with, uh, I think it was a down tilt fair, and then close out that game. And then going into game two, we went to town, and yeah, it was just, uh, it was Roy versus Greninja, essentially is what I'm trying to say. We're gonna go into round three. I don't know who I fight yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be a heavy hitter because fighting him round two is, is a little weird considering how good he is so i'm hoping that round three is not gonna be too too crazy but i know that it's probably gonna be one of the uh top players that we have here so probably like your your pure salt your uh your d tier or like salt lord you know something like that so you guys you guys probably don't know who that is because you don't live around here but you know those are like the the people that are on the like norcal pr so those are the like really really good people i'm just gonna try to clean up a little bit more and Hopefully we can win our round three. game right now. Okay. DJ does have a crazy so but though. Yeah. Sopo in disadvantage though. That's that's a spot no one wants to be in, especially Ooh. against Greninja. Oh, oh but wow. perfectly catching that recovery. Nice. That's gonna take game one. Z Rock had the advantage the entire time really until there was an S D or not an S D but they both traded stocks um, second stock and then D tier just ended up closing yeah. up the stock. Separated. Oh went for the side B. has those on lock. Oh, oh, messes up the recovery. Oh, that is unfortunate. Full AC stops after this one. Wow, yeah, okay. good find. Oh, oh, is this going to be a game right We're here? Oh, wow. Play the minigame. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's funny, like, I see the game and watch both, like, do that ledge minigame you have to play. It's just one person. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Nice. Water and heals. Okay. fine. Yeah. Don't play the minigame. Both players are playing extremely safe right now. Oh, oh, oh this, wait a minute. This could be really oh, bad for Oh, missed. Nana was wow. dodging the teleport the ledge. Wow, good parry. Oh, oh terrible oh, parry. No. Oh. It was a good parry and then unfortunate option. I think he just yeah, that's crashed out. <sighs> All right, well. I just played my round three it was on stream. It was against D tier. I was playing friendlies against him in the beginning. You guys probably saw some footage of that, but uh, number two ranked in NorCal. Man. Game one, extremely close, extremely close. Like, man, I would, I'm so sad I couldn't close it out. And then game two, I think I died, like I only got like 12% on him or something like that. And then I died. That was very, that was a little demoralizing to be honest. I'm not gonna lie about that. Game, or I'm sorry, stock two, I think I SD or something like that. Like very, very unfortunate, very unfortunate. But I was making a, a good solid comeback. Like it was neck and neck then. Oh, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about it here. I'm probably gonna talk about it when I go to like do like VOD reviewing and stuff, but <sighs> he was he was pressing buttons from ledge like he was doing like the ice climber desync stuff and I really thought instead of going for a grab, I thought he was gonna blizzard again. I wanted to counter it and I was gonna send him off stage and like edge guard him. Oh my gosh, I could have had it if I got that. If I, if I hit counter there, he was like 
I'm pretty sure Nana would have died because she was at a higher percent than him and he's not making it back from that angle. So not without me like going out there and back airing. So basically it was a last hit situation, but you know, very, very close. Um, I can't be too mad about it because like, you know, he's a really good player, of course. And obviously I, I went down, but I didn't go out without a fight. So it was uh, very, very close. I'm gonna try to clean up the rest of the uh, the tournament here. Hopefully I can do well. Um, I'm really scared of fighting these these demons in loser's bracket, because man, there are some heavy hitters down there as well. Like, this tournament is crazy stacked and I'm, and I'm scared for what's to come next. <sighs> we just gotta keep the grind up, keep our head up. Um, honestly, it's fun playing him. Like, it's it's a great time. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back in there. All right, so I think that was round four. Yeah, that should be round four. Played against the Luigi. They're pretty good. I think Greninja just wins the matchup pretty hard, and I think I was actually playing pretty well. I was able to beat him out with a lot of different things, uh, space him out with a lot of different things. I, I think I there were like a, a few like clutch moments where like I waited. There was one time where like yeah, I did like a really bad Nair and shield, and I got a bead for it. But other than that, like I didn't fall prey to like getting hit by like a lot of upbees out of shield or. I did get grabbed a couple times, which is not great because Luigi grabbing you is awful. Like you probably will eat like 80% depending on where you're at, but whew, yeah. So uh, I think we lucked out there with uh, not getting combo too hard. There was a time we were talking afterward as well, um, how he got a down throw and then he ran up and did like a down tilt. And he's like, my soul left my body when I did that. Cause that was like the one time that he got like a grab at zero or something like that. So unfortunate for him, but you know, good for us here. Um, we're gonna continue in bracket. I, I was talking with the TO. Um, I play the winner of a Lucas and a Bowser Jr. main. Like Lucas player versus Bowser Jr. player. Uh, both of them I have very bad losing records against. So I'm feeling like this is gonna be the end of my bracket run. Hopefully um, I can clutch it out and, and play well. I'm going into this knowing that I could potentially lose because they're both really good players and those matchups are really weird for me. I don't know. I, it's just, I don't like them. All right, well, anyway, wish me luck. I'm gonna go back in there. Uh, I have a little bit of a break, so I might try to go back in and get some friendlies and, and keep warmed up so that way I don't get cold and kind of flub a lot. So, wish me luck. Oh, why did you bounce against the wall and then die? <laughs> oh, man. Most Fox is one to nair down. You're not like most Fox. I'm not Fox. Fox is me. You know what I'm saying? Yes. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> if I hit the if I had to bounce I get I get behind you. Yeah. You shine there? Oh, no one shines there. Yeah, except for me. No snakes on the line for me. I'm just playing the game. That's why I play the best match for us. You're crazy. <laughs> You're actually crazy for going for that. Dude, you see what I'm right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm back. Whoa, that was cool! <laughs> oh my god. I tried to catch you. I tried to catch you so bad. You know, you know that I have this? 
I have I have four setups. That's so cool. They're, they're all on from T from Ledge. Are they only on Titan City? No, it's on every single stage. Oh. Every every place that I can teeter, I can do it. Uh -huh. okay. Um I'm borrowing a friend that I've been like doing. Stuff your with. No, I'm not gonna do that. Because um, you know how much modded switches cost right now? Or modable switches? Yeah, modable switches is probably a lot, right? It's like, I think it's like 200 or 300. Is it, uh, dude, switches are still like 300. Um, if, you, if you buy them like free on like off like Facebook Marketplace and stuff, it's not that bad, but. Um, yeah, it's getting like a combo thing. You know, the older, the older switches are more likely to be modable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, maybe from like a mom. From my mom? Or no, from a mom. Oh, from a mom. Good angle. Oh, man. That didn't hit me. Wow. Oh, man. Watch this. Oh, man. You're dead. Dead. <laughs> no, he's, the extension was still there. Oh, yeah. Hork! Hork, are you around? Hork! Oh, I'm dead. I'm I got dead. you. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> that killed me. That killed me. Why, did, why didn't that hit you? <laughs> Okay, dude. <laughs> I didn't get the tech. Mission. <laughs> dodge roll. You air dodge. Yeah. I thought you were gonna air. Every other box in your mother does that. Oh, that would've been sick. I, I tried to, oh. Yeah, now it's like, it sucks. <laughs> There's no way. You have like five different ways to spike me yep. without me having any control over it.
Hey, what's up guys? So this is actually the next day after the tournament. Um, I realized that I had forgotten to film like a post match interview. Um, so it turns out that the Diddy Kong that I had fought from last night, Zelda fan, he's an audible mention on that PR list. So once again, another like top level threat on the like NorCal PR rankings, that kind of stuff. Um, also Diddy Kong is a fairly hard matchup for Greninja. Um, a lot of other Greninjas agree and think that like it's either like Sonic, Pac-Man, um, Diddy Kong, like those are some of his hardest matchups. Um, so it's it was something that I had to try to overcome. I feel like I wasn't doing too bad in the beginning and then I just kind of got overwhelmed and was like focusing too much on the wrong things and I just kind of like was missing some stuff. Um, but anyway, so just kind of after the fact, um, that's that's my thoughts on it. So actually the big thing from last night's tournament is that I was able to swap my Switch. Um, I had been talking with the TO for like a week or two about doing this. Um, it was actually at the first tournament that I went to um, in this whole like tournament vlog review kind of stuff that I had talked to him and I was like, yeah, like I got banned and you know, all that kind of stuff. And he's like, hey, like I'd be down to swap Switches with you. Um, and kind of just go that route. So I, I went to the second one and I swapped my switch out. So this is a, a switch that just literally sat there doing nothing until tournament time came. They would use it just to run some matches and it would just sit in a room and not do anything. So that is the switch that I have now. So I haven't used it yet. I haven't gotten to the point of like trying to do all that fun stuff. I'm gonna save that for another time, another video but I wanted to announce it here because this is when it all happened. I should have done it last night after, you know, all the matches and stuff. But um, once again, huge shout out to, to the TO. Um, great, awesome guy. Um, very, very thankful for what he did for me. Um, but I'm gonna end this video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I tried to trim it down for you guys so it wasn't like a whole sit down, like an hour and a half or whatever it was. Um, in the last video but um thank you guys so much for the support and i'm going to be trying to upload more content for you guys uh hopefully soon here so stick around for that and uh i will see you guys in the next one thank you